In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to connect your Telnix account and phone number to Retail AI in just a few minutes. This is especially useful for those who are based outside of the US and need a local number rather than a plus one number and have struggled to connect Telnix to Twilio. If you want to work with me to have AI voice agents built for you, book a free call down below. Please subscribe and let's get right into it. So if you go into the Retail AI documentations page here, I'll leave the link to this page down below. But anyways, if you go onto the page here, you can see the instructions here. So I will walk you step by step through this entire process so you know exactly what to do and so you don't miss anything. So first, what you want to do is you want to log into Telnix over here. You can see the dashboard, so the main homepage here. And what you want to do is you want to click on the real-time communications, go under voice here, and then go under SIP trunking. And then you want to click on create connection here. So now enter your name here. So uh, retail AI test. And then you want to select FDQN as the type. So click on FDQN and then click create. And then you just want to follow the instructions on here. Just copy and paste this. Now you want to click on add FDQN and then you want to paste this here, leave the port as it is, and then click on SRV. Yep, just like that as instructed. So the screenshot here is a little outdated, but just follow the instructions here. The instructions are still the same. So yeah, that's exactly what I did. I copied and pasted this, selected SRV and then we'll go down to outbound call authentication. So let's go back to um, Telnix here and then you yeah, select credentials and then type in your username and your passwords. So I put username and password as test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Leave everything blank here and then click on next. Okay, never mind. So yeah, you know what? Let's just make up a random one. And then, yeah, okay, so that's done. And then what we want to do is let's go back here, set inbound setting. We just have to follow these instructions over here. Click on next. So here we are now under inbound settings. So what we want to do is we want to click on this and then click on plus E164. So don't forget the plus. So click the one at the very top. And then, yeah, we want to select these two. So G722, G729, and Opus as the codec. So you can find them down here. So um, unclick these two and then click on Opus. So under SIP transport protocol, you want to select TCP and then click on next. And then for outbound voice profiles. So now under outbound settings, you want to select your profile here. So I've already created my profile. I won't go over how to create a profile here, but it's quite simple. So now we're back under the instructions on the retail docs. For localization country, you want to select the country that you're based in or where most of the inbound calls will be coming from or where most outbound calls will be made to. So in my case, I am going to put um, Australia over here and click on next. And yeah, that was it. So now you just have to assign this number and click on complete. And yeah, that's done. So now we're done setting up the SIP trunk. Now we just have to connect this to Retail AI. So creating a SIP connection on Telnix was the easy part. Now we need to connect our Telnix number to Retail AI. And this is where a lot of people get confused. So I'll show you exactly how to do it. So first, click on the plus button here, connect to your number via SIP trunking. And then what you want to do is you want to paste your phone number. So I'll just go back to my number here and copy the clipboard and then paste it here. But this is very important. So get rid of the hyphens here. So get rid of all these hyphens because if you don't remove the hyphens, then it's not going to work. I've tried it and it did not work. And for termination URI, so unlike Twilio where you can choose the termination URI, you don't get to choose this. You have to look on the Telnix documents. If you go onto sip.telnix.com, then yeah, you can see these here. And now you have to copy one of the region's FDQNs and paste it into here. And which one you choose depends on where most of the inbound calls will be coming from or where most of the outbound calls that you'll be making will be going to. So if you'll be communicating with mostly Americans, just copy and paste this one. If most of your calls will be involving Australia, then copy and paste this one and in Europe copy and paste this one and Canada copy and paste this one since most of my communications will be Australians I'll copy and paste this one into termination URI and you just copy and paste the username and the password that you set from your SIP connection on Telnix so now I'm back here so copy and paste the username and then password just copy and paste this into retail and then yeah you can just yeah, put your nickname here so test one and save. So now I finished connecting my Telnix number to Retail AI and I'm going to test it out with both an inbound and an outbound call. So I've loaded this number onto two separate agents. One is for receptionist, one is for outbound appointment setters. So now I'll make an inbound call to this number. Hello. Good evening, Pacific Horizons Realty Group. This is Maria speaking. How may I assist you today? Hi Maria, bye Maria. So the inbound call worked. And now let's try the outbound. I just got the call. 
So as you can see, both the inbound and the outbound call worked. So as you can see, the setup was very simple. It only took a few minutes. The main part that people struggle with, the termination URI when you connect your number. So this one here, you just have to find it in this page here. So sip.telnix.com. Just follow the instructions on the retail AI docs and then copy and paste the FTQN from your region into the termination URI. And then just put your username and the password that you set here and you're done. So it's very simple, just this part a lot of people got stuck on. Oh, and also don't forget to remove the hyphens when you copy and paste the phone number into here. So that was it for this video. I told you it would only take a few minutes. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. If you're still struggling, then leave a comment down below and I'll help you out. And if you want to work with me to have AI voice agents built for your business, book a free call down below. If you want to learn how to build AI agents and sell my systems, join my school community or fill out my consultation form down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.